so right now we have four people do you want to continue this thing or you want to add in another group like we can conduct it with juliet also and fox trot also but they are on the 9th uh, sorry oh, they are having 9:30 pm sorry uh, voice bot juliet group have their gd on 9:30 so okay. we can join them also yeah we can share who are interested they can join yeah uh, we are four people so we can also continue for a shorter period of time okay mr amit because he... yes okay so theek hai uh, the gd can be fruitful because they will be not much people so they will not the fish market in my point of view Still, if we can send the link there, then maybe uh, some people can join us. Ah, uh-huh, okay, that that can be also good. Yeah, you can give uh, for five minutes uh, to join, so they can join. Okay, okay, okay. guys let's start here yeah.
Okay, let's start. The topic for GD is what do you think is the biggest threat to humanity? Terrorism, global warming, weapon of mass destruction. I also share this in the group. Please look for it. we can start discussion now mm -hmm. start uh, so guys i think global warming is the biggest threat uh, in humanity as we all know that uh, terrorism is man made thing but global warming is a climate change effect which will affect humanity very in a very bad manner we all know that uh, we all know that uh, climate change is the main issue which we cannot revive once it will happen it will happen it cannot revive terrorism we can stop in future also and the rest of the thing if anything happen we can manage but if climate will be changed we cannot revive it is very hard us to revive that and it will give us very bad effects as we all know that skin cancer and many more diseases is very popular nowadays it is because of because uh, global warming is increasing and uh, population is increasing day by day Exactly. I want to comment also I into that. The biggest threat facing towards like extreme weather event in our walk all over the world. We saw the destruction caused by the vast flood in decades in northern part of in India, and also in Gujarat. See, in my uh, concern, the weapon of mass destruction is one of the biggest threat to humanity. As we can see, uh, the uh, the usually the. Uh, global warming or any terrorism might have a lesser impact than a, a, a big mass destruction like we can see the example of hiroshima and nagasaki a, a bomb which has been felled in that, uh, japan has completely vanished many people and the uh, yeah. locality has also but been vanished they are and man, but they are man made things i agree with i agree with goran too late but i agree with goran the effect of mass destruction is for many years and you will say very the you know, type of experiments are being conducted on basis of hydrogen bomb and the small amount of rdx is uh, uh, responsible for many uh, amount of deaths of humans and it is one of the biggest threat and the uh, production of such uh, kind is one of the uh, major concerns uh, i think uh, regarding the human well, well, i agree with you but you know that main concern is terrorism weapons of mass destruction all are made main mad things right man 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 the yeah. yeah. radiation has been remained for but global years, warming you know, it is in is, a, is not in it our it cannot hands. be revived uh, ultimately it, uh, it is uh, that climate change already destroying people's lives homes livelihood on the unpredictable scale it will not affect it will not give you effect immediately but yes one yeah. uh, it will affect you slowly I slowly and it will uh, be you know it will be not no, visible no, like no, if you no, but there is no issue with the bomb the the then maybe there you will find no, that a lot of destruction a lot of people are dying in that area but in climate change it will affect the whole earth slowly slowly see in today digital and we can uh, uh, identify the way the weather conditions has been bad and where the uh, the earthquakes or a magnitude uh, which kind of uh, effects are being uh, going to happen in the uh, nearby places or we can uh, uh, identify the things which will be uh, destructing by naturally but uh, in in concern with the uh, uh, mass destruction or terrorism it is a sudden action which has been taken and the human people never uh, get information regarding such situations to be happen in a future so uh, i think uh, it's one of the thing which comes immediately before giving any uh, hint to a uh, people Climate change is also affecting food production. We are not having sufficient or 
which will eventually affect the climate and weather because as we know that the elon musk has also talked about doing a nuclear uh, explosion on the mars to uh, uh, start the chain reaction that will lead to ultimately uh, global heating if you do a multiple mass destruction in, on the earth that will be thousand times more effective than the uh, global warming so global warming is slow as process i know that but if, if there is a, a war or a Nuclear blast on the earth on from the yeah, main side. Global warming. Uh, it's one of the slow process, and we can control global warming. Yeah, I agree with her. Uh, yeah, I agree with her. Uh, yeah, 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 but climate change is also one of the problems. But we can control control happening nowadays to you know control climate change. But the door, the beast is in front of our door. We have to you know control it now because if it will be go out from our hand, then we cannot do anything. We have to do it now. The control should be done now. What are the solutions the we have to talk? About? I agree with you. So Amit, but the control is also going on. We have already set a target of zero car- carbon emission by 2050, and India has been also a part of the carbon. But we didn't achieve yet. We have also to decrease the yeah, carbon. We also implement new targets. UP 27. What? Sorry. Deepika, pardon. Okay. Sorry, I didn't understand. Let's continue. So, uh, like I, I agree with you both, but uh, there is a, as I agree with more, more with Agaran, like low effect and uh, with that time we can will be much more effective. What I think is that we should ban the elect petro petroleum cars and bikes, and instead of it, we should start electric car only in India as well as in and other countries also. And how is that? This will be a good initiative to control. Pollution, which will lead to control global it's warming. Been, how the electricity has been has it been produced in India? Most states from the thermal plants. We will, we will still be still are are already you know, generating a lots of electricity from, and also we are uh, nowadays you will you will see that there is a project which we have to start on Satluj River, which But is still the seventy percent of the electricity has been has been made from the thermal power plant only in India till now also. So you are talk, talking no, about like the electric cars and ultimately when you change the power and energy form from one to another, there is a decrease of efficiency and the energy. You know that. No, so, every problem has a solution, my friend. Yeah, I agree. Every with that, problem has a solution, my friend. Currently, we, we can't can the, the petroleum or the diesel car in the instant or in the current period of time in the five years or ten years. We should have to cope no, with that. No, we can't. Very rapidly switching to electric electric car instead of. I, in, if, if I we agree with you, but. Then uh, you will you will see that men, most of the you know we are just buy electric vehicle just to business we, the electric electric vehicle what we can say e rickshaws yeah e rickshaw is right, the most uh, electric pro, electric vehicle in India but in China which is, which is the most polluting industry after the yeah, uh, destruction is one of the concern and um, uh, today we can see uh, the example of Russia Ukraine war also where uh, many weapons has been used for the destruction of humanity and many uh, places are also been. Uh, Uh, came to damage, and uh, we can see that the supply is also on demand of the weapons. Uh, in related to USA uh, or any other countries, uh, every uh, country sh- likes to uh, deal in a weapons, and a country's uh, strength is been based on a weapons. And uh, most of the weapons are being used, which cause a, a major impact on humanity. So the mass destruction is one of the concern. And uh, for uh, to stop that, many uh, schemes are been opened. But uh, one of the Means that nuclear uh, uh, nuclear thing has been which which is an uh, India is not part of it. Uh, and uh, yeah, I agree with Gaurav. Like, because if there is a mass destruction, it will be much more harmful than the global warming. We can control global warming, and we have stepped down that uh, uh, process. But if we talk about the weapons of mass destruction, there is no no initiative from any country to stop them. Like even the there is a news that uh, China is also multiplying its weapons and the nuclear weapons, and same with go with Russia. So we should stop yeah. and sign a pact like NPD to surrender yeah. nuclear weapons from all an initiative from all the countries that no one will do it. A uh, bomb also it has been testing. Uh, majorly it is uh, trying to show its strength by uh, showing its uh, uh, weapons which has been he has been manufacturing. Uh, but uh, at the time of any emergencies these weapons can be used and it will cause a major impact on humanity. Like we can see in uh, Hiroshima and Nagasaki, where any country uh, to save its uh, country's uh, 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 locations or uh, its uh, parts, uh, it will use such uh, 
a kind of mass destruction weapons and it uh, causes many impact on a person who are been not involved in such situations also gentlemen i also we cannot left the other point like terrorism because in constitution the country some islamic countries and terrorist organizations are also in a race to acquire the nuclear weapons as we know and the west has been uh, trying to stop them if they got the weapon of mass destruction destruction they will uh, pass power for the process we should also be not make note that terrorism should also be controlled But if there is a Iran and also Iran, Iran and also on the uh, last step to make the nuclear weapons, which is also a concern for the whole of the world. But don't you think so that weapon can also, you know, for self safety, it it if you will ban them, I agree with you because you know, uh, it will it was it was also used for you know self safety. I don't think so. That ban weapons are uh, ban good for self safety, but there is here to, we cannot ignore the topic. The ta topic is the biggest concern for the humanity. So if you have a humanity is also you know if suppose uh, someone is more powerful and someone is having not enough power to face that person, and but he is he will have a weapon then. There will be a kind of a equilibrium which will maintain humanity. If he See, is, uh, not, I if agree. Power is not, I agree. Yeah. Um, Amita, I agree. So power respects power, but uh, we are uh, talking on the topic which will affect the more on the humanity. So that that discussion has been going on till now. Uh, I agree with all the points. Like all the, the three points have been concerning for the humanity. There is a uh, global warming as well as mass destruction. So all all the three points cannot be ignored. So they should uh, yeah, focus on, on the point. This three points but cannot be ignored. But uh, what I am saying that global warming is the most most important thing which we have to focus right now. Actually, uh, because I already told you that it is natural phenomena. If it is happen, it will be happen. We it is very hard to revive it. And for that, I think hard steps should be take right now. For example, we have to shift to e vehicles. We have to. Uh, teach pe people in the school. Teach student in the school that global warming is um, uh, raising, and we have to, you know, do not do pollution. This kind Amita, of hard step should be. Given. Is the most polluting industry second most polluting industry? Second most what? Polluting yeah. industry. Yeah. You know that? Uh, no, no. Industry asset. I'm not call services and all. Industries. Okay. Okay, ha. So let me, clarify, let, let me clarify a point. After the textile industry, the making of the lithium battery is most polluting. You know that. Whatever uh, uh, lithium battery generation uh, takes the or make do the pollution in its manufacture uh, is compared is compared to eighty percent of the pollution what a diesel diesel car do in its lifetime in it. So, so Suraj, can you tell me some pollution? Instead of not banning that, yeah, I know that. Yeah, yeah, I agree with you. But we should, we can't insist ten years like you said okay. that we should ban the diesel car or the. It is not necessary that we have to shift on uh, lithium-ion battery cars only. We can also make solar panel car. We can also, you know, and use another type of batteries. See, another type of batteries can also use. Uh, yeah. It's a slow. Yeah, we should increase solar panel system. Like uh, there is yeah. an announcement. I think that the green, on the point, on the point of green energy, we should firstly able to uh, manufacture the nuclear energy plants. Uh, sorry, establish nuclear energy plant to make our energy needs independent, so that we can also not dependent on the oil, oil uh, as well as the other countries. Then we can shift on the EV much on a, or a faster side, in my point of view. And uh, we can And also. Uh, Uh, tell that the terrorism is a small. Uh, it is also impacts the human uh, threat also as many yeah. religious uh, also has impacted yeah. many such destruction in a humanity like many cities like in India also. Uh, they are completely uh, with, uh, thinking about a humanity. They have been uh, using the bombs and many weapons for the destruction, and uh, we should take consideration of that. Uh, terrorism is one of the human threat also. Yeah, I put the light on that. Like if we can ignore the issue of terrorism. We, uh, there is no terrorism in a country. Then we can also uh, cut off our uh, defense budget and put on research and development, and also an, also as an education. What is this topic? Yeah, I agree with you. If if we don't spend a lot of money on uh, guns and uh, defense, then we can use that money in development and education to the people. 
for the development of our country uh, we should stick to topic i think i think that the deepika is reminded so such a so pardon so i'm uh, no, sorry 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 sunu has asked okay sorry he is left uh, so uh, all of the points are important if we if we talk of a priority of the humanity or as well as the country in which we are residing like india so firstly the uh, we can take the both points firstly for um, destruction uh, sorry global warming as well as the terrorism which uh, should be our priority and after that the mass destruction uh, should be our second or third priority in my point of view yeah we can go because we are most affected by the both as uh, like terrorism or also being affected by the global warming in sooner years like andaman and nicobar uh, rameshwaram and mumbai will be submerged in the water in uh, like 50 years next so we should also concern about the global warming as well as the terrorism because it is also issue which are affecting the india very much very much guys could you tell what is the topic uh, yeah it has been mentioned on the group you are from the echo or a group i am from juliet okay juliet so one second where well, the topic is the which is the biggest threat to humanity and the okay. sub points are uh, uh, terrorism uh, global warming and weapons of mass destruction okay, okay. Kapil, should okay. i repeat the topic no 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 okay okay so you can start your views or put your views i think uh, as for my view the weapons are not as all the not a destruction kind of way because every country needs weapon and that protection against each other against uh, his against terrorism so it's a basic need so i don't think that uh, these weapons and so called protection is uh, uh, harm to humanity but as this use of weapons in a different way as by terrorist they are using in a different way they are using against each other they are protesting and by using having weapons and guns all those things so this kind of way some consequences are here we can see yeah yeah i agree with you kapil the weapon should be as we as we see in the case of japan basically they have surrendered their forces from 1945 now they are uh, raising their forces but they are issue facing the issue of from their uh people only like they are uh, opposing this uh, effort or the, you can say the uh stance to raise the forces and make the japan on the other side of defense so it's also issue with the defense is ne- uh, sorry weapons are needed for protection also which should be in the u- user of uh, in which the hand sorry the user of the the way the user use it uh, so terrorism is the main issue yes terrorism i agree because as we can see in france also the whole uh, destruction that uh, held in just a few days ago the uh, fight you can say between the police and the terrorist so you can see terrorism is basic uh, harm to humanity there there are lot of destructions occurred where a uh, boy i don't remind his name but he is a civilian there so he died in that kind of uh, destruction so it uh, harm to humanity we can see very clearly it is uh, for the boy who has been killed uh, without getting regard so the civilians are protesting against uh, the constitution of that uh, police which I think she is having a, a medical emergency and uh, she yeah. texts. Yeah, so maybe she is busy. So we should take initiative and put that topic ourselves. It's mentioned in the another group, uh, like uh, Alpha Bravo Charlie, who has been a member of another group. We can put. took their topic also from discussion for discussion today wait let me give you one okay okay listen okay what is your opinion 
is the main reason for never ending insurgency in jammu and kashmir okay i am repeating what is your opinion is the main reason for never ending insurgency in jammu and kashmir support from separatist leader under development funding by pakistan uh, everybody okay Here? so in my point of view under development is the first main issue because most of the youth are uh, unemployed and they have doesn't any job to do so they engage with that activity of stone stone pelters and uh, terrorist who provoke them and put uh, give them the small funds like 500 and 100 rupees for a single day of stone pelting the, this is a basic issue so because it's without, without, second also without, the support, the support of, of uh, separate leader they cannot do anything they have been yeah, i agree with you the, the sub a suppose so the has been issued and then they you know did these kind of things stone so stone, stone uh, much of the support is uh, separate leader has been much controlled in last 5 years like after the revoke of the, the article 370 uh, sorry 370 the separate leader has been controlled in much uh, way than the, than the earlier by the central government so i agree with yeah, you yeah, i'm not talking about from me the big leader there are a lots of small small leaders everywhere every street have a leader and they are also a separatist leader they wants to separate they also uh, brainwashed every uh, you know there are a lots of uh, molana there who you know teach bad things to people so that they will they can uh, they will do uh, you know stone stone throwing and uh, these kind of illegal activities yeah i am i am completely agree with you that under development is also the reason and we are in it, we are doing work on it as we all know that uh, we are making the main, uh, the main root cause can be the funding from the pakistan because without funding i think cannot be done no i uh, okay. uh you both points but uh, the main thing is that the government is which is the underrated government which is not uh, looking at the public and so the uh, there are uh, separate separate uh, separate is present in uh, each of the states who have been uh, who has been funding from the different uh, places like pakistan also but uh, the main thing is that government is not taking initiative to stop such things the government is already took the initiative they are what what they are doing it they are Don't. they took invest take investment from saudi they are making a mall there so that they can generate employment the people the youth are doing nothing they are just sitting in their home so we all know we all heard this uh, this slang that when we uh, our old people say that khali dimag shaitan ka ghar they are do, they have nothing work so they they are involving in such such criminal activities they are easily brainwashed if they have some work they will do something you know what i mean yes, to say bro yes yeah, i agree, I agree with you but the main thing is that the government is not supporting the employment and the educational structure by which the childhood and the all those uh, futuristic uh, students are just diverting their mind and put in these kind of things for yeah, that i think it's been 5 years the uh, jammu and kashmir has been developed in a much pace than the earlier years so the government is much doing on their side and we, for the and we of JNK. more schools should be open there more schools should be open there as uh, yeah, there yeah, are yeah. a lot of mothers there are adequate number of but schools. we couldn't say this completely but as they are not educated there are lot of terrorists which are educated no 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 there are lots of educated lots of terrorists terrorists which are educated as we see uh, the pulwama attack the uh, att- the terrorist that uh, put the 300 kilo rdx he was very educated he did the masters i think in any subject he was very educated people. who are living in that kind of places they are more educated they target their people so that they can do brainwash to the uneducated yes. person then the main thing is the brainwash they diverting their mind in a way by which they are just looking forward to just kill the humanity and all those things so they yeah. brainwash because they are un- uneducated the if you will ask you will ask a person to go down because to talk, uh, they don't have enough time to do these kind of things Yeah, they we can say that they, they are under un- 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 government. They are not uneducated. They are, uh, they are uh, educated. They are have uh, enough schools in the Kashmir, Delhi. Yeah. But the issue is that they are under uh, that the areas under that those doesn't have em- enough opportunities there. So, uh, yes. So they, if they get engaged in the work, and they will, uh, we can say it. their psychological minds are not so much developed. Uh, so that's why they are diverting in these kind of activities. But we cannot say that they are not educated. Yeah, yes, they are already educated. Like a uh, yes, Abzal was also master's degree. <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, the parliamentary uh, blast. Uh, 
Harris. So he was also a master, and many others has been done their education. So we can't say they are uneducated. They are unemployed. We can say that uh, due to underdevelopment, uh, we can do. We have to, we can do the development in the JNK, but there is an issue of also the climate change. So in that contrast, also we should focus on the industry that can be de de deployed there. Like we can't put the textile industry there. We can't put the power plants or, or, or the new thermal plants there. We can focus on the like uh, agriculture and uh, agri industry, agri tech industry, or the software industry can be there. Could be there. So that are that that will be the industry that can, should be installed there, so that the youth can get the employment and can engage in their livelihoods and jobs. And the main sector is the equipments and the weapons that are supplied by the uh, foreign countries. Also, they are providing these kind of things to. The Pakistan military, uh, you can say militancy. Yeah. Pakistan is also as in begging now, so they will not much support the funding of Kashmir. So you, we can say, na, Pakistan is not uh, in that condition that he stand himself. Yeah, in recent, if you think, uh, you heard the, if you heard the news or read the news in recent times, the separatists are not getting the funding from the uh, Pakistan. They are also getting against the Pakistan government because. The, we are not of funding and support they are not getting from Pakistan. So that is also issue. We should uh, uh, put a priority on development in the Jammu and Kashmir. They will ultimately eradicate the many of issues. Then the, and as our agencies are also working to eradicate the issues of funding from the Pakistan, like NIA and all the money laundering agencies. They are working. They are doing their work very well. One issue is also there, like uh, supporters from the separatist leader, they have been also been not in a much uh, activity in recent times from after the revoke of the 30, 370 article. They have been uh, in the silent mood or the suspended mood now. Yes. So that topic has been, anyone uh, who want to say anything? What should be the priority of the... I think we all discussed very well. Yeah, the most sort of yeah, point if, is if, if you guys have any, uh, Suraj, if you want to give any suggestion to anybody, like what are they saying, how you like, you can give review. Then uh, we will give. Our achha, personal feedback. Yeah, personal feedback. Uh, Amit, you talk, talk also. Yeah, very well. You have, you have been discussing very well, as well as Baran and Kapil also. We have been. Uh, much productive influenced sorry much productive discussion like there was not a much fish market here so i appreciate you all kapil if you want to add something some some points yeah our uh, discussion is very well and i'm a newcomer as if i say i'm just practicing okay. So I also think that Suraj, you were giving very good points. Your argument was very good, and uh, just uh, you know, don't laugh. Sometimes you laugh. I know, but actually, oh, I was uh, no, sorry. No, no, I, I was I, no, no, I, I don't have any problem. I don't I, no, have any no. problem. Just my phone was there will... on the screen. No, no, I know, I know. When you were in uh, real life, there, by any chance, if you laugh, then okay, it will, you know, sometimes. It will Actually, be a problem. Uh, I, uh, uh, if you noted that I will put the camera, my camera off, then uh, I just was on yeah, the screen yeah. and there was no, no problem. And the uh, uh, problem. Your points are good. I agree with that. I will not do it. Uh, I also in the. No, 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 no. I'm just saying. I'm asking. Yeah. Then is there any problem in SSB when we laugh? Then sometimes. No, no. Uh, they no, there is the not issue. any problem. Like but if you laugh, then we are having or something like that, and you're laughing, then we. Introduce the whole criteria, then it's a good thing, yeah. I think. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Malab, it's a negative effect. I know that. Depend on you, but how you will take. In last session, yeah. someone. I think the, the point was that uh, 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 laughing at uh, any person's response is a bad thing. Yeah, no, I laughing, agree just well. having a uh, beautiful smile on face at some time. No, I every time. Know. It depends on you. It depends on person guys, to person. Guys, 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 yes, guys. Yes, yes. I, I apologize for if anyone has. Uh, oh no, yeah, don't, don't do like this. You are just telling you. I know just that. Just giving a feedback. Huh, and couple, couple, you are, uh, you know, you are very calm person, which yes. I like the most. And uh, the way you are speaking is very, you know, don't, don't, you don't rush. You just very calm and speak politely. This is the, you know, thing which attracts you toward. 
and uh, gora guys you should yeah yeah yeah, yeah. uh these and kind of things are improved by practicing in this group so thank you you all <laughs> thank you yeah guys. and gora uh, your points are also very good uh, still you can do more participation like suraj yeah okay yeah rest if you guys can want to say something about me then you can speak you all are from the juliet or the which groups who are you are from the, 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 like recent shopping has been there i am from juliet and i am from eco I, along with the eco i am in alpha as well as in uh, fox trot also uh, goran or we have been earlier in the eco i know that in earlier discussions we are there and amit you are from the uh, i don't know yaar i i am in a lots of group <laughs> alpha <laughs> no earlier which group you joined like in the first time wait let me check <laughs> okay right now charlie bravo and uh, Eco Alpha, there are lots. कितने में join कर लिया? Team के team के वो थी ना? वो वाले थे सब में. Yeah, but I joined. यार मेरे को तो नहीं करा प्रोफ़ी लोगों ने मैंने तो try किया था पांच में join करने का. मेरे को तीन पे छोड़ दिया. No, I am just for you know four five for four five days. After that I will leave. I will only join three groups. Okay, okay. After that, yeah. Okay. No, no issue. यार, if you want to practice for seven times a day, you can do that. It's better. Yeah. Uh, which entry you are going for? Mm, I have been mostly for the graduate entries, yar. Uh, technical and the uh, uh, CDS. CDS and I uh, sit again CDS and now uh, I have got and guys, you can say also. I have a question. I have a question, guys. Yeah. Uh, in NCC entry, there is a permanent commission or uh, short service commission? Short service. Uh, short service in Air Force there is a reservation of ten percent seats, so you can get the permanent commission, but in Army side there is short as well as Navy. Yeah, in Air Force, but there they demand for the C certificate from. Ah yes, yes. Every yes. year, ah, you want an airing certificate. Uh, and the in serious. Hi everyone, I'm back. Now we are having I a ten case, so that's why I went. Okay. We already complete our discussion on both the topics. <laughs> okay, good. We can do another yeah. discussion. No, no worry. No, no. Yeah, we we done. Um, the second topic was. Um, um, yeah, we took the topic from the another group as we don't have a topic. topic yeah. Uh, ma'am, if you want, you can say share another topic, second topic, no. and we can do the discussion. I need event. to go again. We are having a candy okay, okay. face of a minor girl. I'm a nurse. Okay, okay, okay. And I'm having on. Okay, okay. Is it done? Yeah, yeah it's done. Okay. Okay. Bye, bye, bye. Uh, okay. Okay. Bye. I would say Amit and Suraj were good. So, so ma'am, you are a defense nurse or a private nurse? So most of the nurse has left. I'm sorry, I can't answer right now. I have to go. Thank you, Suraj. Okay. Th- thank you, ma'am. Have a good day. Thank you, ma'am. Have a good day.